as you can see, I'm um, in the gym now. This is our gymnastics area. If you're wondering what everything's going on in the background, if you have any household items, um, can either use uh, water bottles, tins, anything to use as makeshift weight, or we could also use a towel for a couple of these exercises as well. But we would need, um, if you are using a towel, you would still need the tins, bottles, whatever you use, as well as that. Okay, so you can either use one or the other, or both. Okay. So we've got a bodybuilding style class today, guys. So with the bodybuilding style class, what we try and do is do a full body session where we're working the pushing muscles, the pulling muscles, and the legs. So pushing muscles, it's chest, shoulders, triceps. Pulling, it's the back and the biceps, also forearms come into it as well, and the legs is your legs. Okay, so um, we'll do a full body circuit to get warmed up for that, and then we'll get into the actual movements that we're gonna do as well. Okay, here we go. So let's get the heart rate up with some jumping jacks. So sidestep and bring the hands together at the top. We're gonna do about 25 of these. And then once we've done them, we're gonna do six forward lunge, six reverse lunge, and then six side lunge. So that's just six in total, not on each leg. Forward lunge, we're pushing off the front foot as we go down, knee to the floor from the side. That's what they're looking like. Side lunges are a little different. So we're gonna keep the trailing leg straight. And then three each side. And then six reverse lunge, so we'll take a step back, pushing off the back foot this time. Okay, after that, we're going to do a set of 10 air squats. Keeping the chest up, we're going to squat down all the way, all the way up. 10 reps. Once we've done 10, we're going to head to the floor. So the first move we're going to do is for the bird dog. On the hands and the knees, alternate. Left arm, right leg, right arm, left leg. Keep the core tight as we go through. Once we've done those, we're going to do some shoulder taps. So again, this will work the abs, the shoulders as well. Feet wide, tap. Once we've done that, we're going to go on to our back and then feet together, knees out. We're going to do a diamond sit up for 10 reps. And once we've done 10 of these, we're going to grab our household items. So, with me not being in the house today, we're going to actually use. Dumbbells, it will be a bit tougher, but use whatever you have available. So we're going to just run through a few of these movements that you might see in the class today. We're going to do five bicep curls first. With these, try to keep the arms straight, and then bring it in, squeeze the bicep at the top. Then after that, five bent over rows. So bend them down, and bring that in. From the side, that's what they're looking like. 
and it will be the five short press. And then it will pop that down. And the rest there, so the legs, a little bit abs, and a little bit upper body. But that will do for the warm up, guys. Today's class is the bodybuilding session. As I say, there is three different parts to this. The format, we're gonna do a five minute AMRAP. If you haven't done one of these AMRAPs before, it means as many rounds as possible in five minutes. The three movements you're gonna do, basically you're gonna do them once, and then that takes you a minute and a half, you're just gonna keep going as many times as you can in that five minutes. Once that's up, you're gonna rest for a minute, and you're gonna start a new circuit a new set of three exercises with exactly the same format. I'm going to do that three times as well. So you've got nine different exercises in total. So let's get into the demonstrations. I will remind you guys what we're going on to each time. There's nine movements. I don't expect anyone to remember all nine from the start. We'll just try and focus on the three that we're going to use at any one time. So, and circuit one what we have 15 pull squats 10 bent over rows and 10 bench dips so pull squats we don't need any weight for these they're quite a tough one although we're, we're not using any weight because the idea is that we keep all the tension in the quads these big muscles on the front of the legs so as we go down we're going to go all the way down but then just up about there, so from the side. So that little pulse of action there really fires their legs up, so you will feel a lot of burning in the legs, pre-warning you. Then, if you are at home and you have a towel, I'll try and demonstrate here. I don't have a towel with me. So, pretend this pair of jogging bottoms is your towel. I'm gonna pull that apart, and then go down, Just like that. That's your bent over row with a towel. If we want to do that with household items, then we could do that just like we did in the warm up. I'm trying to always keep the elbows tucked in as I go. So it's 15 pull squats, 10 bent over rows, and then we're going to do 10 bench dips. So if you've got a chair, sofa, table, anything that you can safely rest on, then we'll use that. I'm going to do 10 of those. Let the shoulder go below the elbow. Notice when my feet are, that gets easier, that gets harder. So wherever you want to be, the closer when your feet are, the easier it is, as your legs will help out the triceps, which we're aiming for on that one. And those are the three movements on workout one. I will briefly go over the next two, next two circuits, just to give you an idea, and then I'll recap them when it is that minute's rest. So, next one would be a 30 second wall squat, 10 supermans, 10 push ups. So, the wall squat. With the wall being a little far out of, out of shot, I'm just gonna do an asymmetric squat, which you can use if you haven't got a free wall. So the wall squat would be where the back's up against the wall, and just holding that there. The isometric squat will just do the same, just without the wall. 30 seconds, try and hold that bottom position with the chest up, hips down. So try not to do that, it's gonna be so hold that for 30 seconds. Then the supermans are on the floor. Go from there. From there. You're trying to bring the thighs off. Squeeze the glutes. You're trying to bring the chest up and bringing the arms up. So you're feeling the back of the shoulders and the back. So it's 10 of those and then 10 push-ups. Which you can also do on the knees if you want, keeping them elbows tucked in. Those are the three movements on there. I'll not go through it 
any further as I will recap. And we have got another circuit which is with 16 jumping lunges, 16 bicep curls, 16 shoulder press. Jumping lunges, tough one on the legs. Control the knee down, like so. If that's a bit much, because it is a challenging exercise, we're gonna drop that to regular lunges. All right, 16, eight each leg. Then we've got the bicep curls. You can use a towel again for this one, if we want. I'll need them again. And then shoulder press. 16 again, and that's again a five minute workout. So, those are the nine exercises, the three different circuits that we're going to do. Five minutes on one, one minute rest, three times. So, we'll quickly recap again the first ones because no doubt we've all forgotten what we're, we're doing, me included. So we're doing pulse squats, bent over rows, and dips. 15, 10, and 10. Follow my lead, guys. I will be going through everything with you. I'll try and give you some variations where possible along the way as well. So we need either a towel or household items for them rows. And we need bench, chair, something to do the dips on as well for this one. So I'll give you a minute to get sorted, and then we're going to get straight in. Here we go guys, 10 seconds, pull squats first, 3, 2, 1, off we go, down and just up to there, 15 of those. All the way down with just part of the way up. So the idea with them is that with, with not locking out at the top, the legs don't get a chance to breathe. Bent over rows next, so hips right back, back tight. 10 reps. Once we've done 10, we're gonna do 10 dips. So use your bench, table, whatever you're doing. Remember the knees, the, the feet, sorry. That determines difficulty. So that is a bit easier than that. You should be able to get a set of 10 in without breaking. So if you struggle to do that, if you're having to rest at about five, then that's a sign to bring the feet in for the next one. Okay. So I've done one round. You're just going to work at your own pace from now. It's five minutes. You just try and get as many rounds in. The pulse squats. Just a different angle there. That's all I'm doing. Not going particularly high. Always keeping tension in the legs. Try and always get below parallel. Give them a shake off. Bend over row next. Trying to keep the elbows tight to the body. Got to brace the abs on this. We don't want the back to tighten up. So always tensing up there. Or that's gonna take the load. 10 dips next. 
Okay, we're halfway through. Two and a half minutes to go on this one. Right, back to them, pull squats. So keep doing what we're doing, guys. Power through. Tough. Back to your weights or your towel, whichever movement, whatever bit of equipment you're doing the movement with. Back should be straight throughout. Less than 90 seconds to go. So you're just going to get as much done in this time as possible, and then rest for a minute. So triceps should be really feeling that one. I mean, on a full body, hopefully, these will rest by the time get back to them, same goes with each movement. Means we can push on that a little bit longer just by splitting the work between the full body. 40 seconds. Okay. 30 to go. Let's finish strong. Last five. And rest there, first one down. Well done everyone. Good first circuit completed. Not easy by any means, but this is a chance to recover somewhat. There's only a minute, so not a massive rest at all. I'll quickly run through three more exercises. Wall squats, supermans, push-ups. So the wall squat or the isometric squat, it's just a hold, holding that there. Abs braced below parallel. Superman's on the floor, so we're opening up like so. And then push-ups, you can do on the toes or the knees. Or can use a bench as well. It's coming around fast, so we're back in in 10. Three, two, one, and let's hold. Again, the legs are really going to burn on this, so there will be sort of the instinct to raise the hips when the legs start to burn. So we're going to fight against that, try and keep it low, keep the arms solid, chest up. Especially after them pull squats in the last round. Nearly there. Last five. Three, two, one. First one over. Now we've got the super lines. So, belly down, bring the feet up. And the other one. Go on that because you bring the thighs up. So it's just kind of, it's just the hip, the torso area on the floor, the upper body, and the legs come up. Push ups next. You do that on the toes. On the knees. Or on 
the bench, such as that. Whatever way works best for you, where you can get the best form. It should always be chest to the floor or whichever target area we're going for. You don't want to just be doing half reps. Let's go back in. So isometric squat or wall squat. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. So it's tough for each round this one. Just do your best. Hold it for the full 30. Not come up. 10 seconds to go. Keep your arms up if you need to. You want that chest high, perfect squat position. And come out of it. There's your third. Back to that Superman now. If you really struggle with this, you can do it where just bring it up the body off. But if you, if you can do it with both, where the legs come off as well, excellent. Push ups after that. We're coming up to two minutes left of this one. Chest all the way down, full lockout at the top. It's another round down. Get ready for that isometric squat. All right, three. Two, one, and let's hold it there. Might be the last round of this. We've got 90 seconds until we rest. Let's hold it the last five, three, Two, one. Okay. Let's see if we can get these the last two movements in. Got that time. Super lines. Drill a posterior chin. Where we're feeling that one from the hamstrings, the glutes to the back, to the back of the shoulders as well. Push ups next. Okay, so there's not full 30 seconds left, but we're just going to hold as long as we've got. Another 10, then we'll rest before going to that last round. Three, two, one. Relax there. Okay, guys, so that is two circuits done. We've got one more to go. Three more movements. With this one, it's 16 of everything. 16 jumping lunges. 16 bicep curls, 16 shoulder press. So we'll want a couple of household items we can do for the curls and for the press. You can use a towel again for the curls, but for the press we will need something in each hand. Whew. Okay, this rest comes around way too quick. For 20 seconds, then we're back in. This is the last one though. We've got five minutes work, then we're gonna stretch off and we're done. Three, two, one. Let's go, jumping lunges. Remember, then you can drop back to a regular forward or reverse lunge if you want. 
we struggle with them reverse, uh, them jumping lunges. Then we've got 16 bicep curls. Keeping the elbows tight to the body, not out like that. Let the arms fully straighten out before we'll going to that next rep. One minute gone. Okay, shoulder press. So going from the shoulders, touching to lock out overhead. Okay, on knees, notice my head's going through at the top. I'm not going forward like that. I'm going straight up from the shoulders. Back to the lunges. 16 reps. Here we go. And we'll land with a soft knee as we come down. Then bounce up off back foot predominantly. Whew. Back to them curls already. Right. 16 reps again. We're trying not to swing on these, which is like that would be a bad rep. Want them to be as controlled as possible. Over halfway through the last one. Reckon grabbing the dumbbells now. Getting heavy. Okay, I'm going back in. The notes on these, I'm kind of bringing them central, I'm not just going straight up, arcing them to the middle and back down. Try and have both dumbbells as close to symmetrical as we can. Ninety seconds to go. Back in them lunges. So we're going to have a big push to try and get as much done as we can by the end. Whether we're doing regular lunges or jumping, try and keep the pace up now. Right, one minute left. Control all the way. Big shake off, 30 seconds. And fast reps to finish. Fifteen seconds. That last five, three, two, one, and time. Well done, guys. So top effort if you got through that one. Fast and furious, the movements designed so we can just keep moving through them while your shoulders are recovering we're doing something with the legs while the legs are recovering we're working the arms 
that's the idea on these. So by the end of it, you do get pretty out of breath, as you can tell. And you do feel like you've had a good workout. The muscles should be tired as well as being out of breath. So hopefully we got the right stimulus out of that. We're going to stretch off now. Again, full body workout, so full body stretch as well. If you're feeling particularly tight throughout the day in any particular area, then just add a couple of minutes stretching in every few hours and it'll definitely help towards recovery and then avoiding that muscle soreness we don't really want leading up to the weekend. So let's start with the quads. Quads, the big thigh muscles. We're gonna kneel, so you're sitting with your bum on your heels and then leaning back. Try not let the legs go too wide, keep them pointing forward. And the further back you go, the deeper the stretch that will be. Again, everyone's different, just go to your own limits on this. And three, two, one. Come out of that. Let's go. Feet nice and wide. And creep your hands forward. With this one, we're trying to stretch the inner thighs, the hamstrings, and the back. Edge and hands forward to get a deeper stretch. back and leave that there. Let's go to the upper body now. So first thing we'll stretch the lats. So what we're going to do for this one, bring one arm over. We should feel a good stretch right down there. The lats are your back muscles. down with one arm, get a deeper stretch. Let's switch. And carefully come out of that one. Let's go triceps next. So with this, bring the elbow towards the back of the head, hand goes towards the middle of the back. Switch. Last one we'll do, chest and shoulders together. And wrap one arm with the other, pull it back. We're opening up the chest and shoulders. And so that's sort of position we want there. With the hands, a better angle. Pull it across, and the higher you get up, the deeper the stretch. And switch. After this one, we're going to call it a day there. Three, two, one, and relax. So, thanks, guys. That's another week complete hope you all had a good week um you had a good um good week of training you enjoyed the classes and i hope you also have a good weekend and we'll hopefully see you guys next week